I worked at Munn over the summers. Been a, a different experience. Learn to work with different tools you don't usually work with on a daily basis and become a little bit of a handyman. Working on the rink and maintaining the rink that you, uh, you play at, it's an experience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Logan, just move. I'm from Newport, Michigan. Grew up a pretty normal life. Played hockey, baseball, soccer, football for a year. Family of uh, four. Me, my two brothers, and my older sister. Both my brothers played hockey also. We didn't bring him straight home from the hospital. He went from the hospital to one of my brother's hockey games. The first place he was was in the ice rink. Hectic. The best word to describe it was hectic. His mom was going one way, I was going the other way. Hi, Logan. Trying to keep them all straight was pretty crazy at times. We've left kids at the rink before. Should I say, Lance has left kids at the rink before. <laughs> well, when he first started, it was terrible. He couldn't skate. He's embarrassing himself out there. You know, he, he can't be having any fun. But it's all he wanted to do was play hockey. My uncle played, played pro in Europe, and that was what ultimately attracted me to play hockey. I saw him play, and you know, I fell in love with the game. I started to play, and ever since then, there was no turning back. About the age of 11 or 12, he started blossoming. He didn't want anything for Christmas but hockey gear. He didn't want anything but uh, a ball and a stick. He didn't watch cartoons like a normal kid. All he wanted to do was watch Wayne Gretzky's videos. And, and at that point, I, I just got this feeling that, okay, let's, let's go with him. You know, let's see what he can do. And as long as that's what he wanted, we, we stoked that fire. There was a lot of times that coaches didn't want him. He was small. He's always been a small kid. But every time he got cut, he would come home and he'd go downstairs and grab his hockey stick and the pucks and, 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 and shoot and work 10 times harder. Mainly I played double A. Every, every couple of years I would jump up and play a year of triple A, but I mean, it was really expensive. Grew up a pretty blue collar family. Dad did real estate when we were younger, and then once the economy crashed, then he cleaned foreclosed houses. Really anything to let us kids do what we wanted to do. They were scraping together anything possible, and we had to have a pretty serious talk about hockey because it's such an expensive sport. He told me that it was gonna be really tough to continue to play, and you know I might have to quit. One of the hardest things I've ever done. I think he was maybe 13. You know, he had just started to really blossom. I had just lost my job. The company that I had worked for owed me quite a bit of money and they went out of business, so I wasn't seeing it. That put us really in a, a big bind. Um, you know, to sit there and talk to a 13 year old about, you know, possibly giving up his dream, it was hard. It was really hard. It was emotional. You never want to tell your kid they can't do something, but you talk to them and then when you, f you figure out a way, you, you make it happen. And it's always rewarding when you see them working that much harder when they know something's difficult for the family. Looking back at it, you know, nowadays I'd probably tell them, be like, you know what, it, it's, it's all right. And I was probably really immature about it and, you know, didn't really, didn't really think about their situation and how tough it was for them to come to me and tell me that, you know, it was gonna be hard for me to continue to play, especially with two other brothers playing. I didn't put myself in their shoes. I try to raise my children to understand that, you know, no matter what, honesty will overcome everything. I couldn't take Aki away from him without talking to him first. Without honesty, we have no relationship, so, you know, I wanted to teach them that. They scraped just enough together for me to continue to play and gave me a little extra motivation to, you know, put in, put in some extra work and, you know, show them that it was my true love that I wanted to, you know, make it as far as I could and do it for them. Stretch pass, onside, Lambden walks in, shot, score! Michigan State was really late. I was. 20 years old, playing in juniors. It was kind of toss up between a couple schools until 
I came to campus, it was just, it was hard to turn down. He was dead set, this is what he wanted to do. He was, I mean, we were in the interview with the coach and my phone, I'm looking at my phone and he, he had other colleges calling him and I'm showing it to him. He goes, nope, this is what I want. I'm like, okay. Ultimately, the sacrifice of everything my parents did for me, it all paid off in the end. I fell in love with it. He always said, he goes, Mom, I'm going to make it big. Mom, this is what I'm going to do. Logan has a great work ethic. He knows what he has to do. He puts his mind to it, and he gets it accomplished. For a guy who's five foot eight, you know, he's not afraid to throw his body around. I'll see him limping and hunched over a little bit because he sold it out out there. Something that he's always had to do with all his entire life is, is play against bigger guys. Right in front, Lambden takes it off the skate, forcing Robson to make a save and cover it. This program has helped me mature mentally grow up and learn to be mature for the younger guys coming in, teach them, you know, the new ways that we're trying to grow the culture around here. Just being around older to younger guys throughout the years, it's really helped me mature as a, as a player and a human. He's not the little boy he used to be. It makes me feel like I listen to my mom. I learned something from her and I'm passing it on to him. He's becoming a man and, and, and I'm proud of him for that. Michigan State, Zach Osborne, Logan Lambin shoots, scores! Overtime game winner, Logan Lambin. My work ethic is revolved around what my parents have done just so I can be here. They've sacrificed so much of their life choices that he's sacrificing daily just so my brothers can continue to play. And that's what he's you know, instilled in me, that I have to treat every day like it's my last and continue to work. Final try here with the advantage. Logan Landon. Nodler centers a score! Logan Landon! It's a power play goal, and Michigan State has their first lead of the night. You always want the best for your, your, your children, and you know, there's a small percentage of them get, that get to play at the, the elite level. For all the adversity that he's gone through playing hockey and, and, and athletics, for him to achieve what he has, a dream come true. There, Spartans get a stick on it and knock it high out to center ice. Drops right in front of Logan Lamb and drive it in from yes! the right wing. Goal for Michigan State! Yes! Logan Lambden, what a snipe from the right circle. We're tied. My dream for him was to get his college degree. He's doing that for me. That's all I can ask for. I'm beyond proud of Logan. Yeah, I might not always say it, but I am. I love him very much, and I'm extremely proud of him. I'm dreading senior day. <laughs> I am dreading it. In the end, I feel like College has been everything I could imagine and everything they could want in me. I feel like playing college hockey is everything that could have come from it. And getting a degree, getting engaged, this is everything that could have prepared me for what's to come in my future.